I'm out here measuring the, um, the amount of runners that come and touch Hopper's hands. So Hopper was actually a steel worker on the bridge and noticed that so many runners would come and touch the fence. And that was like this ritual that they would have, that they would just, they would, that was the end of their run, they'd touch the fence and then they'd turn around. So he decided that he would put these hands on the fence that the runners could touch. So I'm counting how many people on an average Saturday do this. I mean, I think that I've always been kind of interested in the boring <laughs> and the, the mundane things that, that, because when you take the, the thing that's making the moment out and you isolate one part of it and showcase off that one oh, yeah. part and really take time to look at it, then that's when you realize how beautiful that one part is. Excuse me, could I, could I ask you something? I'm, um, I'm an artist doing a project for the Golden Gate Bridge anniversary, and I'm taking a poll on how long you think the span is. Okay. <laughs> Three miles. Three miles. About. Two, I'd say a mile. A mile? Okay. Do you have a guess? I would say two miles. Okay. It's 1.7. Oh, me. No. <laughs> and um, I'm doing um, a, a magazine called Average. The subject matter of the magazine is, um, is to kind of dive into the nitty gritty of the space and and show the visitors here what they what they don't see behind behind closed doors or um, what they don't have access to what are you fishing for today crab <laughs> i've got uh, seven crab yeah yeah they're really good to eat but the, the meat is very small amount of meat you get about that much meat yeah. But it's very powerful meat. It actually is like an aphrodisiac. I don't know you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But if you eat it, it makes you really want to have sex and stuff. It's crazy awesome. stuff. <laughs> well, it really works. It's yeah. It's really powerful. Like, those are the moments in my life that are, that are as close to when other people look at art, look at a painting and, and are moved by it. So that's kind of my motivation is to hopefully have that happen for people that read this. No one can pinpoint like why there, why so many people come out in in harsh conditions to like be in this space. Like, I, I, and it's so peaceful and it like makes you calm. I think what's magic about it is that that no that when you talk to people about it, no one can really put their finger on it. It's just this feeling.